What's going on, Dragon Ball fans? So we're back here with another Dragon Ball Legends video here, man. So yeah, man, you guys already know, man, we dealt with a plethora of news. We got a lot of things for, of course, Dokkan, Knife, Annie. We have this from the, um, you know, Battle Hour reveals and stuff. And then, of course, you have other things with Dragon Ball going on. Just a lot of Dragon Ball news to cover and all I just didn't want to cover in one day. So here, if you're watching this video, this video will be up maybe an hour or so before the banners drop and we're just going to be talking about the new characters coming to the game so we're going to go ahead and play the trailer here on the official legends uh twitter account and yeah man you know we are getting bola with vegeta and a uh legends limited super 17. now bola she didn't really get a lot of screen time on gt but i liked her as a character i wish um uh, they do more for her i don't know what's going on with their scream but we're good. But um, I mean, not the screen, but you know, their video, it wasn't loading. But um, you know, Legends and you know, maybe some games could have did some things for. Her. But um, we'll we'll take it. You know, it's something. We get, we just got Pam. Now this art for your boy Super Seventeen looks pretty good. I think this is one of the best arts in the game. I actually like it. Now, of course, I know a lot of people wanted a Legends Limited Baby Super Baby 2. I don't think that's bad. Now, I didn't fully look at this character kit. I know some people talked about it, and I've probably seen a couple things. But I do have the kit pulled up. We're going to go over it. I do know he's red, and I know Bola and uh, Vegeta Sis is purple. Like I said, nice, nice, nice art here. Like I said, that the CB17 art looks pretty cool. Um, Bola, <laughs> you already know, man. She looks just like Boma. It's like a, uh, you know, a mini Boma with, with Vegeta. So we know she never really got to fly, which is why she got the jetpack. So everybody in this game that can't fly like Hercule and all them, you guys know they got the jetpack. So. She has no choice but to have that, but she don't really have any moves herself. Of course, you know, certain characters use like rocket launchers and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, she got Vegeta to come on in and help out. A lot of people asking for Vegeta with Goku, at least with Spirit Bomb Goku. But here's Vegeta with Bola. So they were saving Vegeta <laughs> for for her. Now they do mention a couple of things about these characters. So this is what they put. I already got this pulled up. We're going to go over here in a second. So uh, we draw ultimate on cover change, on special cover changes. Absorb the enemy's key blast attack when using special arts and afflict all enemies with no switching for three three uh, timer counts. Plus, restore our own vanishing gate by 100% and reduce enemies to 0%. So that's when he's landing the um, the green card. We'll go over that in the kit. But for Bola and Vegeta, they mentioned that there is a support character with many ways to lower ally sub counts. And buff them. Increase damage inflicted by 25%. Cannot be canceled. Plus recover allies HP and key. And boost damage inflicted when returning to standby. I think that's all great. But they do also need um, reducing key and things like that. They need debuffs. That's what make Pan so annoying um, to fight. You know, for superhero. You know, that Pan from superhero is debuffing the crap out of everybody and she reduces key and she manipulates sub count you know with gohans and i think piccolo characters and um also you know her green card is annoying so we need another broken assist or a great assist character like that or support character like that that for gt but i don't think this character is going to do all that i think they realize we don't need two of those because people will run them together with a powerful unit <laughs> So let's go ahead and go here, man. So, of course, we have the abilities commentary here. And then we got this. So before we go over the kit, I just want to go ahead and tell everybody. People may ask this question. Who should I summon for? Oh, I'm glad I didn't summon for GT Goku. Or I got GT Goku. I don't care about Super 17. I mean, it's still pretty subjective of who you want. But at the end of the day, uh, I'll still tell people, unless the LFs are, are very strong, do not summon for them. A lot of times... You want to wait till the showcases come out by, you know, some prominent YouTubers. And then you'll get to see how the character looks. Mainly with LFs as well. 
you are going to have to get this character to six stars. Now, you guys know me. I'm not a 14 star person that 14 everything. But six stars is the minimum for LFs to actually work in high rank PVP. Now, also to mention, I don't know if GT is going to get one, but I'm pretty sure they might. We still got a probably ultra probably coming up. So who knows if we get a villain for um, ultra, if it's going to be, you know, Super Baby 2 or they just going to go ahead and give us the ultra Gogeta 4, which is going to be insane. But who knows? So they may not be giving us the ultra yet or not at all. So you want to temper your expectations. I don't care if it's going to be GT or if it's going to be another saga. I'm pretty sure the next ultra character is going to be pretty, pretty strong. I know they're harder to pull. But LFs are normally a special case, you know, like Beast Gohan. Very good Ultra, I mean, very good Legends Limited character. You don't need to, you know, save for Ultra for him. Goku and Bardock, they can do so much. Goku and Bardock was a great unit. So if you took advantage of the New Year Summon, you had a lot of chances to get them if you didn't want to get them from their um, initial banner. But yeah, let's go over the yellow highlights, man. So Super 17 is here, which means unleash least fear assault through absorbing key blasts, activate special effects. Um, his strengths, powerful effects activated by absorbing key blasts, which, like I said, once you do that, you know, with the green card, um, you know, he'll be able to nullify um, unfavorable element factors if absorption is successful, and then the enemy's fashion gauge will reduce to zero. So he will get buffs, reduce them to zero. And then they can't switch out as well. And then he will be able to, um, you know, attack them offensively. Now, of course, you still got to land it. But, you know, if you're skilled, you might. You can, you know, bait some people in it. And some people used to do that with the old uh, Super 17. So, Scrimp 2, strong offense via Blast Arts in Unique Age. Has Blast Art is 100% uh, Blast Damage inflicted against Blast Armor. So he's one of those characters. If you're shooting at them and they're charging at you trying to get through in the Blast Armor, they're going to take way, way more damage. Now, this character is also red. So a lot of people are going to be using him to take the attack on the um, Ultra UI Gokus. Now, Recover key, recovers key and buffs uh, special move arts damage inflicted when using Blast Arts. We got when unique gauge is full, it resets to zero and nullifies the enemy's special cover changes, which is great. Depending on how great the unique gauge is, you know, go up plus plus attribute downgrades and uh, abnormal condition will be canceling and you'll draw a blast art cards. So that's great. So your offense can keep going. So screen three, we got a powerful counterattack capabilities after special cover change. At activate a special cover change against a strike art, you will draw an ultimate arts. I think that's crazy. So he will be able to get two ultimates. So if you land the cover change, you can go ahead and do the ultimate. Now that's kind of, yeah, you know I mean a little, little, little kind of crazy. You know, Janembas was easy to pop. Uh, Gogeta's it's not that bad to pop. You know, of course you need two. Um, do the ultimate and then of course he has to come in when there's one enemy left that requirement is not that bad but him doing on the strike arts it's going to be a little tough depends on you know if they have no choice they don't they hand is bad they don't have no blast other than that it's going to be get, it's going to be hard to get this one this one is pretty niche unless he had a universal um cover change and most people that have universal cover changes cannot attack back like you know the um purple ui ohm and, and go to g4 you can't do a blue card or a ultimate off their cover changes because they're universal so yeah it's gonna be whatever uh, you can even deal damage to enemies on standby by unleashing your ultimate arts on the enemy with an advantage element you can deal huge damage to all of your opponent's characters so it's one of those things that's going to hurt everybody um use legends limit super 17 to nullify your enemies attacks and give them a run for their money that's just their verbiage but like i said he's red he's going to be on gt uh android merging fusion warrior power opponent now so by him being red we did get the most recent omega shin run zenkai I didn't showcase, so I didn't, I didn't too much care about that. Ready to have Vegeta, Android got a bunch of um, red Zenkai's. Um, Fusion Warrior got some red Zenkai's. Um, powerful opponent has a Zenkai. I know the red Rose does. I'm not sure who else, but this guy has a lot of teams that he can be put on. Androids is pretty solid. Some people are running them with the Gammas, and of course, um, 
turn him to power uh, 17. Um, so, you know, he, he'll have some teams to play with. I'm pretty sure everybody not gonna probably just use him on GT. It's the same thing that had with the same thing that happened with Kid Goku. He was mainly on Sun Family and Saiyans. Uh, he wasn't just on GT. So it's good that most of that part here doesn't say include an Android or include a GT character. But let's go to the main. Recover gradually recovers your health and key and draw Ultimate's Arts card. Flash Bomber. What's more, Super Saiyan Team will get a buff. That reduces enemies' damage cut effects based on how many are left. The fewer the enemies, the greater the buff. So you can deal some real damage. You're not going to go over these modifiers. not going to bore y'all with that. Uh, we got the Z ability. Like I said, we got GT, Android. And of course, uh, moreover, three. Tag powerful parent cancer would be buff. While GT cats is getting increased. So if you get them to six stars, like I said, you'll be able to buff up powerful opponents as well. So I think that's, that's not bad them putting powerful opponents in the back i don't think they should have did anything else but we got this on hit inflict all enemies with increased damage received and then of course we got the blast where he's gonna do crazy damage against people with blast armor so man if you're a yellow unit and you're trying to go through blast unit it's automatic over <laughs> it's just over now when activated this special move recovers key seals one of the enemy's cards you also inflict enemies with substitution counts on hit. So when the enemy is on the battlefield, it's on the verge of defeat. Your opponent won't be able to switch to another character. I think that's going to be very important. So you want to be able to um, not get hit by this because you're going to deal with the one card slot being slow for 10 seconds. That's that's pretty high. Uh, if it was five, you're like, eh, whatever. But 10 seconds, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. He's going to get some back. And... Uh, yeah, man. And he also draws special art cards next. So if he land this, you guys know he's going to be ready to let you shoot a blast at him so he can absorb it. So we already went over this mainly. We're not going to go over this because we already read that. Ultimate. We pretty much read this too. Not going to go over it there. So we got a unique ability. Pretty much some things there. We're not going to go too much in detail. Most of the yellow is basically... You know, getting to the point of what it's going to do. Like I said, we already read most of this at the top. And there's not much to read on. But I think Super 17 is going to be a good LF nevertheless. A lot of people are trying to evaluate, you know, is he the best? Is he this? And that's just what people do when these units come out. But I think he's decent. I would say if you care about androids and you want to run androids, you know, he's probably a must summon then. But if you don't really care about GT or don't care about Super 17, you know, you can easily skip and, you know, this unit is not going to hurt you. But I'm pretty sure once that next Ultra come out, where it's going to be a GT Ultra or an Ultra from a different saga, I'm pretty sure that unit is going to probably be top one, top two in the game. Trust me. So I told y'all this about Omen. I told y'all this about uh, Vegito when he first came out, when we had the anniversary. People were summoning for all the, you know, LFs. But I'm pretty sure um, that's going to happen. But Power Creep does happen in Gotchas. You know, it's a possibility he could be better than everybody else. I mean, he should because he's the newest character out of the block. But GT is just not strong. The team's is very saiyan oriented in this game, and I don't think he's gonna be the one to say, "Hey, we, we're stopping all the saiyans." Now, if he has something in his kit, like the kit right now is pretty decent. If he has something in his kit that that does more damage to saiyans, I think that'd be a problem. So this is why if you go to DBZ space, and I've seen I've seen people highlight this character, but um, I'm gonna give one YouTuber a shout out here. It's gonna be Boy Do Goat. I think he does great showcases, but um, he went to this character here, and I've also liked this character because I got this character when it first came out. This Golden Frieza, even though LOE hasn't really got much help, um, they're scared to uh, Zenkai's character. As you see, he got an attack up on Saiyans. And right now, this is just basic kits right now. But the attack up on Saiyans, if you look at his, where is his passive or whatever the abilities he has, he's he does a lot of damage on Saiyans, man. And, and it's going to do a lot. Oh, right here. So right now, a base, he's the 30% to damage inflicted against Saiyans. And it can't be canceled. Now, if he had a updated kit, you know, 2024 kit with some covering old, 
with all this other stuff going on where the combos are just infinite combo and like you know the uh who is it uh vegeta and goku or even just a basic combo where they, you know if there's a lock in a certain way or some other type of crazy attack this freeze is going to kill saiyans because mostly saiyans are running in pvp there are not many other teams people run when I, mean, I do see androids or some other team i'm like hey man you know i i salute you running something different you know sometimes i run, may run uh you know female fem female uh, girls they change the name i was gonna say female warriors or female fetals but um you know girls because you know sometimes i just want to run you know the 21s or running uh the 018 or something else but yeah man this guy is going to destroy saiyans and if we get some more characters with some similar kits and like i said his kit is not like outdated he has crazy blast damage has some cover no it's going to be very bad he's also green we already know that the issue with you know the ui goku taking over where there's no purples in pvp this man will run unchecked <laughs> so yeah it's crazy how greens are very uh, unchecked right now because of the ui goku I'm, I'm i'm not really happy with that i like to go frieza and they're still a great unit it's just that a lot of purple units even jaren they they just you just can't run them in pvp right now they really just made it where green is just messed up i mean a uh, purple sorry it's messed up and green can just run a mock that's why there are a lot of good mono purple teams and um yeah man gotta be careful like, comment, subscribe, man. You already done so. Let me know if you're summoning for Super 17. I personally just want Bola. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I may do one rotation. I really want to get her and Vegeta. If I don't get Super 17, it doesn't matter. But if I get them, of course, your boy will do a showcase. But if you guys are watching this video and we do hit, let's say, 100 likes, nothing too crazy, I would do two full rotations. Like I said, one rotation maybe depends on how I feel, but I may not even do that. But guaranteed, if you guys give me those 100 likes, I would do two full rotations. And of course, your boy recorded for y'all. Catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace out.